Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. So, uh, just want to do a quick video on Nice Hash Quick Miner. Uh, so, uh, ni the Nice Hash team was able to do an LHR unlock for their Quick Miner. This is great news because uh, you don't have to, if you're not a very, very technical person, it's super easy to set up. You can also, what I like about Nice Hash Quick Miner, uh, you don't have to pay any mining fees uh, if you're using a regular Nice uh, Hash Miner versus Quick Miner. Uh, and uh, also uh, you get to have a uh, very easy there's no configuration to do on your side uh, you just have presets to so, uh, to do like a high medium low and also that you can get a display of the vram temperature that's very important from your dashboard from your nash dashboard so uh, so these guys have this uh, 0 0.5 point 0 release candidate it's not the stable version yet, however it is working. I, I'm going to show you how to get it. So what you want to go is go to releases here. Make sure you download the installer. Uh, it's fine, it's a 5.2. So once you have the installer downloaded, I have it my installed. Uh, make sure when you have the setup that you have uh, selected release candidate and not the stable version. Uh, just because if you have the stable one, this won't have the LHR uh, improvements uh, for the unlock. Uh, the release candidate only has the, uh, the unlock for the LHR. So once you, I have my install, I'm going to cancel that. Um, so it will start uh, mining. Make sure you uh, select your presets. So let this run for a while, folks. As you can see, I'm getting here uh, 40 mega hashes on the 2060 IRTS LHR. Uh, it's not ideal, I would say, compared to the MB Miner 29.7 or the T-Rex Miner. However, I feel this is a great initiative by Nest Hash to do that. Uh, I think they should. There were a lot of people waiting for LHR unlock and their quick miners and uh, they, finally, they finally have it now. I did notice a lot of uh, mega hashes swings though, so it's not ideal. Sometimes the LHR limiter gets triggered and uh, you know it happens more often than the NB miner or T-Rex. However, this is a release candidate so they may have uh, room for improvements. It's not bad, like I would say if you're a non-technical person, this is a good uh, you know, interim stopgap stop solution for you. Uh, I'm getting here like now 34, however, I am I am recording, so I'm losing a bit of mega hashes. So uh, you're getting, I would say, I would say we're at 80, 70% of the potential, then it'll say if you're using NB miner, it's not bad. But one thing I do like about uh, quick miner is that you're using excavator, so you're not paying any mining fees with nice hash. If you're using, let's say, lol miner or NB miner, you're paying 3% of miner fees. So uh, you're saving the miner fees with that. And also if you're a non-technical person, you don't have to uh, work yourself up with setting uh, core clocks, memory clocks, and all of that, and trying to not trigger the HR uh, mechanism manually with your uh, configuration settings. So this is a good, uh, you know, uh, compromise, I would say, for non-technical people to use a nice hash quick miner. And also for those who want to see the VRAM, let's say you have DDR6X, like a 3080 Ti, uh, the VRAM will be displayed, so you don't have to worry about that uh, with the nice hash uh, uh, quick miner. So uh, you can see that all that and track it. Uh, like I said, it's swinging up and down a bit, but it's better than nothing. Like I say, uh, so let me know in the comments. Are you guys using Nice Hash Quick Miner with the uh, new release candidate here? Let's subscribe and take care, folks.